Hi everyone, this is Naomi and Rachel from DevEx and we're back again with another recap of the Changing the Face of Politics podcast series. This series, produced by the National Democratic Institute, features women leaders from around the world talking about the challenges they faced, the progress that's been made and the road ahead towards achieving women's political empowerment. We've again been listening to the latest episodes and chosen our favourite quotes. So we're going to play them back to you and then we're going to talk a little bit about why we chose them. In this excerpt, Ambassador B. Kim Shao, a Taiwanese politician and veteran of international politics, interviews the founder and president of Women in International Security, Horn of Africa, Fauzia Abdi Ali. He talks about why it's important to redefine traditional concepts of security, especially for women. A society where there's limited trust between it and the institutions that are meant to serve it is a society that is uh, more open to conflict. And for us, it's important to ensure that we redefine the terms like security to mean security uh, around issues around health, uh, to, to mean security around safety uh, for women, for instance, to be able to go and, uh, and get maternal uh, health coverage when they need it, to be able to access those hospitals when they need it. So to us, it's all about redefining some of the state-centric terminologies around security to be more centered on the person as opposed to national security. In the next clip, Fauzia Abdi Ali interviews Vera Yurova, a Czech politician and lawyer who currently serves as Vice President of the European Commission for Values and Transparency. In this interview, Vera discusses women's political leadership in Europe, as well as the impact the COVID-19 pandemic has had on the fight for gender equality. After the financial crisis, yes. uh, can you imagine much more or many more women entrepreneurs started to do the business because they could harvest the opportunity. I think the flexibility on, uh, for, and the dynamism is, is very, very strong on the side of the women to understand the opportunity and to go for it. And also the companies which had in the leadership, the, the women, they sniffed mm-hmm. earlier the crisis coming and they took measures. So uh, I think that the women are great survivors in the times of crisis. And I, I don't want to sound pathetic or naive that I believe that this crisis could push us forward. And in episode 9, Vera Yurova interviews Her Excellency Roy Rakhmani, Afghan ambassador to the United States. He talks about the reasons why some women are still not comfortable being leaders. Another uh, difference that I have noticed between the male and female leadership seems to be uh, that women are content to do a lot of work behind the scene. And they are more focused on getting the desired outcome uh, and care less about the pomp or the privileges or the show of their positions. Of course, men tend to support each other in the leadership positions, but unfortunately, uh, women are widely very critical of themselves and the other women in the position of power. Uh-huh. Something that we, I think, believe we all need to work on. So those were our favourite quotes from episodes 7, 8 and 9 of the Changing the Face of Politics podcast series. And again, um, there was a great variety of voices of women from different regions um, and they were brought up very interesting and varied kind of challenges and themes there. Yeah, I was reflecting on what Fauzi was saying in her particular interview about um, security, terminology and peace building being relatively, I suppose, male-centric. So it was interesting to see her thoughts or listen to her thoughts about how we could apply a gender lens to that. Yeah, I also really like that. Um, and the idea of making um, a concept like security more sort of people-centered or focused on the most vulnerable members of society, which is what it should be about, but sort of often isn't interpreted that way. And I also thought that um, what Vera Yarova talked about touched on, on a, a similar kind of theme around seeing the, this current crisis as a, as a moment of opportunity and the op- and also an opportunity to make maybe a more kind of people-centered and compassionate world. I found that quite an inspiring idea. 
So some really great and inspiring insights there from the women interviewed in those episodes. Um, episode 10 is coming out at the beginning of February and that will feature Ambassador Roya Rahmani interviewing Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who is the former president of Liberia and Africa's first elected female head of state. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, you can learn more about women transforming politics by going to voicesofchange.devex.com and click on the link to listen to the full episodes of the Change in the Face of Politics podcast series. Thanks for watching.